Good morning from Da Nang. Today we will find out how to rent a motorbike in Da Nang. We will get over five places and we will find out which are the cheapest for one day, one month. And at the end, I will show you also the only legal way to really rent a motorbike. But let's start right away with this bike shop. So all bike shops here in Da Nang, what we're gonna see now, one of my friends already tried out and uh, had no issues. Myself, I never rented a motorbike, so we will find out how the whole process is. So this is just bikes. See all the bikes outside. Let's ask how much it is. So here's the price list of all the bikes. So you can see you can rent out a bicycle and the bicycle is like this racing bike. Then the Honda Cup is 50cc, so you don't need a driver license for this one, but it's half automatic. Keep that in mind. And for those bikes, it will be 140,000 dong, those ones. And what you need to do for the deposit it's not a cash deposit, you leave either way a passport, an ID card or a driver license. So if you have an extra ID card, I think that's the wisest because like, you never want to leave any passport anywhere. Your passport always has to stay with you. But yeah, you can leave an ID or driver license. Yeah. So, but keep in mind, if you drive those, the 125cc, you need to have a Vietnamese driver license who covers that your driver license from your home country does not cover it, no matter what. All right. You rent it and then it's for 24 hours. So if I rent it in the evening, I have time until next day evening, right? Uh, so if you rent at 10, you yeah. can return the buy before 10 tomorrow? Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, so now we know. Um, you don't even need a cash deposit. But for a few, for the um, more expensive bikes, they want to have a cash deposit. Um, but yeah, you can leave an ID. So if you travel with a passport and your local ID from your home country, that works, or your driver license. All right, off to the next one. I think I saw right there a sign that said 100,000 Vietnamese dong. That means $4 per day. They only have big bikes there right now, so I don't know if they gonna have something for this price, but we will find out. Here, it says 100,000 dong and 1 million a month. That is pretty cheap. But they only have these big bikes right now and one small one. Maybe this one. Hello. Hello. Uh, do you have bikes for rent? Uh, automatic maybe? Automatic now, the red one. The red Only one. this one? Yeah. The air blade? <coughs> okay. H how much is this per day? 120. 120? Yes. And per month? Per month 1,300,000. 1, uh, 1, 1,300,000. 1, uh, okay. So this air blade. Yes. It's a very good, uh, very popular bike in Vietnam. Okay, cool. And all those big bikes? How much buy, do you? Uh, 550 per day. 550 per day? Yeah. Okay, interesting. It looks cool. This big bike looks cool. How much CC is this? 300. 300cc. And this one? 150. 150cc only. But it looks big. Wow. And how much? How, this also 550? Uh, 300. 300 per day. 300 Vietnamese dong for this bike. That's great. That, look, that looks cool, okay. Okay, thank you so much, okay? <laughs> thank you, bye bye. Oh, uh, what do you need to rent a bike? Uh, I need to keep your document. Any, you any document? Okay, no cash deposit no. or anything? Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, super simple. I thought always you have to leave a deposit as well, but any kind of document is accepted, so. And I think those big bikes, 300k, that means uh, $12 to drive this cool big bike. I mean, I cannot, um, I'm, I'm not a good driver, but that would look cool. <laughs> 
All right, so we're gonna go now to one of the most popular ones uh, where my good friend Bud Kaumann um, rents his bikes always. Let's ask how, how much they wanna have. In the last Antung walking videos, I also showed you these places and those are very popular. They also have these big bikes, the PCXs, uh, which is more likely something I would drive because I'm very big. <laughs> But let's ask how much it is. They also have nice bikes here. 150cc. They have a lot of bikes here. Maybe they even have a 50cc bike. Hello. You can give me one document. One document? Passport or ID. Passport or ID. And do you have 50cc motorbikes? Now I have one bike, but very slow. Very slow. This is a 50cc. Okay, I want to just show. So this one. So this motorbike would be legal to drive. This is a 50cc motorbike. And usually you see like 80 kilometers an hour or 90. She said it's very slow. And Vietnamese in general absolutely do not drive 50ccs unless they're children. Um, <laughs> and every time I'm asking about 50cc, they're looking at me like, you're way too big for that, bro. But you know, um, the, the other 125cc uh, CC bikes are plenty and those ones are more like my size PCX. They're big and they're more comfortable to drive. But let's see how much they cost. Excuse me? How much, uh, how much does uh, like 125cc cost per day? 125? Yeah. What, like a PCX? How much is a PCX? One day or One day and one month. One day, one hundred and fifty thousand. One hundred, how much? One hundred and fifty thousand dong. And how much for the month? One million six hundred. One million six hundred for the PCX. Yeah. And wh which one is the cheapest? Cheapest. Yeah. Those Honda and seven hundred one month. This so this uh, is it one hundred twenty five cc. One hundred ten. One hundred ten cc. Yeah. Because only eight hundred one month one twenty five. Ah. Oh, okay. So this one hundred twenty five cc is only eight hundred k. Yeah. Eight hundred thousand Vietnamese dong for one month. This is seven hundred. So this this here is around. $35 and this is $28 per month $28 per month it looks a little bit ramped up but I mean it drives good price right I feel like it's the easiest thing to do to rent a motorbike wow okay let's check out the big bikes here this is what my friend always uses they also have these huge bikes very nice Here's some dogs. A lot of PCXs. And this varia is also very fast, 150cc. Oh, there are puppies. There are puppies. How much is to rent a motorbike for one day and one month? One day I have from 100,000. One month from 1 million. Okay, so wh which one is the cheapest with one million and uh, one hundred thousand? Which one? Which buy? Okay, that's a half automatic, right? Yeah, half automatic. You have an automatic one? Automatic one hundred twenty per day. So this lead is um, hundred twenty k. Okay, and uh, per month is uh, one dot two million. How much? One million five. 1,500,000 yeah. for one month. Okay, and how much are the PCXs? Because I have two more there. Mm -hmm. yeah. 1,700,000. 1,700,000? 2,200,000. 2,200,000? 2,500,000. 2,500,000. Ah, because it's 150cc, uh, the, the newer one. Um, and what, what do you need to make a, uh, to rent one bike? 
you need deposit or? I need, I need to deposit money or passport. The, how much deposit money? Three million. Deposit. Three million? Okay, and um, or a passport. Do you accept also ID or driver license? Okay, thank you so much. All right, that's pretty straightforward. Um, it's pretty simple. But now I'm gonna go to another place where they have like these big, big cruiser bikes, uh, like the X Max and very modern, crazy big bikes. Um, also, one friend of mine, shout out Danny, he rented there for two days because um, it's pretty good to rent a motorbike and then drive to Han uh, Hoi An. It's the cheapest way to get there because if you rent one for 100,000 dong, the, 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 ta uh, the gas will most likely last back and forth two times. <laughs> okay, let's fast forward to the next one. And after that, we're gonna explore the only legal way. The, the, the legal way and the modern way to rent a motorbike. So for the next one, it's Guang Na. And if you watch until now, please hit the like button. It helps a lot, thank you so much. Let's check out these big bikes, big, big modern bikes, what they have. They have a lot of PCXs. Honda PCX, a very popular cruiser here. It's very comfortable to drive. They have the 160cc ones. Those are very rare in uh, Vietnam. All right, let's, uh, let's ask. Also, this one is a big one. Honda X-Max. I think this is the bike I should drive because it's so big, very nice. And they have like this nice, cool racing choppers and lots of normal bikes. What do I need to rent a bike? Ah, uh, you want to rent a motorbike? Yeah, I just want to ask. You can uh, deposit or passport. Aha, okay. So either way, uh, a passport or a cash yeah, deposit or from yeah. 1 million to 10 million, depends on the bike, yeah, right? Yeah, correct. Okay, what is the cheapest bike for one day? Cheapest bike for one day, around here. We have this price here. So ah, okay, so they have a price list here? Many prices, yeah, mm -hmm. from here. Ah, so it starts with 100,000 yeah. dong with a Yamaha Notza? Yeah. Okay. And here, many, we have many prices. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Okay. From and how how much is the like the cheapest one for one month? One month here. We have right for one month. Ah, okay. This is right for four months. We have one month. Ah, okay. So everything is. Uh, so the, so this is one dot two million. The cheapest for ah no, this one is the cheapest. It's automatic one million dong per one month for this yeah. one and this one not so interesting. And how much are the big bikes? Oh. Not for a month, just for daily. So, so, so how much is this big bike? 900? Okay. So $40 to drive a 500R Honda. And how much is the X-Max? 900 for one day? Okay. Okay, okay, thank you so much. Yeah, so you right. can check and website too. Oh, they have also a website. Yeah. Okay, um, where's the website? What is the name? Can book Wang Yan Motorbike. Wang Yan Yeah. So they also have a website, you can scan the QR codes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> have a good day. All right, so they have a lot of bikes. Let's see if we can find the Notza. Where is the Notza? I don't think the cheapest is available. This is the Notza one. So this one is uh, 1.2, 1 an Airblade. That's nice. All right. Whew, it's so hot. And I'm not taking a bike. Even though I make a bike video, I should have rented one. But you know what? Your boy got to lose some weight. So I'm gonna just walk it through. Yeah, a lot of nice hotels and condo buildings. But I will do another... I will do an apartment tour of some service apartments soon. So subscribe for that too. 
for the last one is one good alternative to drive legally in Vietnam, a motorbike. It's not a good alternative for me, but you will find out why. <laughs> but here you can see these yellow Windfast Evo 200 lights. That means it's not that powerful. It's an electric bike and you can drive it without a driver license. How much is uh, rent one, uh, one bike uh, for one day? One bike for one day? Yeah. What kind of bike do you want to rent? Uh, something without license. Uh, with a license? Yeah. Okay, we have so many options with a license for you. Ah, okay. It's an electric bike. It is 50 uh, cc, but it's really strong. Oh, yeah. okay. And then you can go uphill, you can climb the mountain. Okay. And you also have normal bikes, I yeah. see? Yeah, okay. normal, that's a bigger bike. The, uh, yeah, one, that you need uh, a... mid license, international license. license. Mm, yeah. Okay, so um, can I just like, yeah. for my video, drive here back and forth? Yeah, yeah For yeah. quick, okay, perfect. Yeah. And so uh, it's 200,000 per day? Yeah, 200,000. Okay, how much is it per month? Uh, per month, it is uh, two, uh, two, two million. Two million five hundred yeah. per month. Yeah. So 100 bucks per month. For, and how do you do it with the charging when you... You can charge it in your hotel. I give you one charger. Okay. So if just some small hotel, they're not allowed to charge. Yeah. So don't worry, you can come here anytime you want to change the bike. You oh. change it for free. Ah, okay, so if you rent a bike here yeah. and the battery runs out, you can always show up and just take one with a full battery. Yeah. If you cannot uh, charge it at your home. Okay, cool. With, yeah, with a full battery, yeah. you can go 100 kilometer. So with a full battery, 100 kilometer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So those bikes are very nice. The only problem is with me, I'm 194 and you will see how funny I look with them. Those. Okay. I show you first. You show me first? Okay. It's an electric bike. It's an electric bike. Yeah. All right. Uh, you, turn on. you just turn it on. Yeah. And then you and immediately. Then, yeah. Have all your settings now, there. Now we need to turn up the P. Yeah, that is way we got this way. Okay. Yeah. Now we need to turn up the P. The P I mean parking. Uh huh. We cannot okay. Cannot go. So we need to turn up. We put the uh, piston stand first. Yep. And then hold one brake and start the P at the same time. Ah. Uh, so it's it's basically the same like a normal bike. Yeah. Uh, hold one brake and start two second. One two. And then you can go now. Okay, so the, the, the parking mode is over. Yeah. And now you can drive. Yeah. You okay. Want to drive now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just just hold me yeah. driving. Okay. <laughs> so it's a little bit low here, but it's okay, I will fix it later. Okay, no worry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? Oh, it's good. It's good. Actually, it's it's str way stronger than I thought. Yeah. Uh, you, but if you press port here, here okay. more strong, more strong. Oh, yeah. even more. Okay, then yeah. let me try it out yeah. with the sport mode. Sport that you can climb mountains strongly. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, now it's in parking. Now I have to do this. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So as you just saw, <laughs> I am just too big for these bikes. I look like uh, those clowns with the tricycles, right? Yeah, so even though I really like the, those bikes, but it's just not for me, I can't drive it. But if you're not that tall and not that big, I think it would be a great alternative. And that you don't have to think about police or anything because it doesn't, it, it doesn't require you any kind of license. You don't need a driver license at all to drive those bikes. And with sport mode, it's actually pretty fast. I could imagine with sports mode, it feels more like a 90, 90cc or something. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. And please watch this video about the Antung area. I did, I did a walking tour all over.